What's up? How are you, sir? All right. Who's first? <laughs> so looking at the off season as a whole to get to this point, when you're kind of looking at it from like 15,000 feet up, like how do you think this summer went uh, for the front office, the organization, everything? Yeah, I think we're excited, obviously, with uh, with what we're able to put on the floor here tomorrow. Um, we had, obvious, I think for us, we, we talked about step one, we got to break that playoff drought. I'm glad to have that monkey off the back. Um, now it's really just, it's a different challenge, a harder challenge in a lot of ways to make this a uh, step two of sustained, sustained success, say that 10 times fast, uh, in the playoffs. And so we got to figure out a way that we can get past the Golden States and the Denvers and uh, those teams uh, in the playoffs. But, you know, before that, we got to put ourselves in a position that we can get to the playoffs in a, in a spot that can really, um, you know, let us make some noise. So, you know, bringing back, uh, obviously, a lot of the same characters, adding some new faces, um, you know, and uh, Coach Brown and his staff will put them in position to win, so we're excited. Mike said quite a few times last year that it's easier to go from bad to good than good to great. But what's going from good to great look like? Where in specific areas do you need to see those improvements made? Well, I would say, uh, you know, th those are going to be measured based on wins and specifically wins in the playoffs. So we, we know we're going to be measured ultimately based on whether we can advance uh, down the road, whether that happens hopefully this year. But like I said, we want this to be a multi-year playoff run. Um, but, you know, certainly we, we need to figure out a way that we can continue to have our fantastic offense, uh, but get better defensively. And, uh, you know, there were some positive signs, especially in the playoffs. I thought we defended quite well. Uh, not not quite well enough, but, um, you know, we got to figure out a way to do that for 82. And, um, you know, I think we've seen some teams with success uh, in a lot of different ways, but some with, with great offenses and, and good defenses that can make some noise. You were just talking about the defense. Last year on the road, you guys were eighth in defensive rating. Obviously, that number dropped big time at home. And then you mentioned the playoffs. Um, where do you think you guys need to be defensively? Like, do, do you see this team capable, based on the pieces that you have, of taking that jump? Is it more based on team defensive concept? Like, how do you view that? I think uh, certainly some internal improvement we're going to have to see. Um, you know, I think we got guys here that can that can be better than what we ended up last year. Uh, I don't put a lot of stock into the home road splits, but you know, we, we just got to be better all around. Uh, I think the other thing is uh, year two in in. in you know, we had a new coach last year, completely new defensive system. Uh, in a lot of ways, I think that's the thing that takes longer in the NBA. Uh, there's just so many these days, complex rotations and reads. Um, I think our guys got better as it went along. And then we're going to have to figure out a way to, to bring more guys in that can, you know, be two-way players, can defend, can hit shots, can, uh, you know, make smart plays on the offensive end. And so we're going to continue to do all those things to, to shore that side up. How do you think the continuity that you have, not just with the Yeah, continuity is always important. Um, it's you know certainly one of the factors we look at, but um, you know we're looking at any way that we can improve the team. So uh, I think for us, certainly the deadline last year and this this off season, uh, we have a, a core group of guys that are going to be together for a while. We're excited to see that, considering I think we changed around uh, you know most of the roster. Um, I think we're we're now for the first time. I think my, my group since we came in, me Wes. Uh, Phil, Paul, I think everybody on the roster now we've either drafted, traded for, or signed either to a new a new contract or as a free agent. So, uh, you know, a lot of ways this is this is our group now, and we're excited about what we brought in. Continuity is a big part of that, but it doesn't mean that we're we're done and we stop looking at other ways to improve the team externally as well. There's a cliche amongst coaches like you, putting together a roster full of talent is a good problem for a coach to have, but at this point with the, the roster that you put together. Do you kind of step back in the front office, step back a little bit, and almost enjoy Mike's process and the coach's process of building those rotations? Yeah, I wouldn't say we take a step back. We're always, um, you know, working with Mike and his staff to figure out what, what we need, what they need, uh, how they would utilize certain guys. Um, but I think, yeah, we, 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 we know we need a deep team to just withstand the rigors of the NBA season. Uh, but it also gives you more opportunities for guys to step up. I mean, just look at the champions from last year and, uh, you know, Different guys at different stages of their career taking a big jump to go from star to superstar or, or uh, you know, role player to, uh, you know, really good starter. So, you know, for us, we're going to need those guys to step up. We think we got 10, 11, 12, 13 guys that can be a part of that. And Mike's going to find eight, nine, 10 guys that are going to do that. And, you know, it might be seven, eight, nine in the playoffs. So, um, but, you know, for us, we got, I think we have guys 
um, a lot of young guys, a lot of guys with growth uh, that can continue to find ways to uh, you know help us even more on the floor. What do you think Chris Duarte can bring to the team? Chris, somebody we've been tracking since uh, since the draft. We really liked in the draft, and um, I, I think for uh, I think for Chris. Um, you know, one of the guys we talked about that's a two-way guy. He can defend, he can hit shots. Uh, obviously, he's played with Domas. They got a great synergy with him. And, um, you know, he also just brings a, uh, incredible tenacity to us, and we, we need a little more of that edge. Is there any specific player that you're excited to see their growth this year, maybe Keegan, maybe Domas, and Jared, anything like that? I think it's no secret that Keegan is, is going to be a huge part of how uh, far we can go these next few years. Obviously, a top-five pick. Um, I think he had a very successful rookie season. I've talked a lot about how he continues to answer questions that come up. Uh, you know, I, uh, the first two or three games of the playoff series were maybe not his best, and then he figured it out and had a fantastic end of the series. And he's done that throughout the whole path. Now for him, we saw a summer league. Can he take on a little more of a scoring role? Can he be more aggressive? I know Coach made the joke, you know, he got some wiggle. He took it coast to coast. He dunked on guys. So. Uh, that's going to be a, b a big step for Keegan. Um, we got big, big hopes for him, and uh, I don't think uh, there's any secret about that. He's got big hopes for himself. The decision after signing JaVale McGee for uh, to release Kata and, and release Nervous Noel was that like you know, what went into that decision, I guess, and how much input was that coaches, the, the front office, and, and wanting to give those other guys an opportunity elsewhere? Yeah, I think it was pretty simply that we didn't expect somebody of JaVale's ca uh, caliber to come available at that time. Uh, when he did, we were able to secure him. Uh, Coach Brown and some of our other coaches who have uh, history with him was certainly a big part of that. I think what our winning is a big part of it. Winning uh, brings players in, and uh, you know. And then as part of that, we wanted to give both Nerlens and, and Nimi a chance. You know, with uh, Alex already on the roster as well and a guaranteed contract, give them a chance to catch on elsewhere. And uh, you know, certainly wish those guys the best. Well, what was the learning experience from Domas in, in the first round series against the Warriors, and, and what are the conversations like with him to? Um, you know, improve in, in a similar spot this, this year potentially? Uh, the Warriors <laughs> the Warriors pose challenges for a lot of us. I've lost to them many times uh, in the playoffs, and uh, they're champions for a reason, and they figure it out. And, uh, you know, for us, it's going to be about figuring out them or whoever else steps in our way. But uh, the great thing about Domas is uh, this is a guy from uh, a small age till now who continues to figure it out. And, uh you know, I think he's he's shown that he's, he's a triple-double machine. He makes all our players better, um, and he's a matchup nightmare. And so um, whether it's the Warriors or somebody else, um, you know, I think next time's going to be a little different. Monty, given the things that you guys have accomplished uh, over this past year, how different does it feel here to, to be standing here today with the, maybe a little bit different feel from last year? Yeah, it's certainly uh, – I think it's great to, to have some uh, tangible success to lean on. You know, last year at this time it was, can you break the playoff drought? You know, what's your contract status? So, you know, what are you going to do with this this thing? How's coach going to do? Now it's, okay, how can you actually just repeat what you did last year? That's going to be a hard feat in and of itself, and then the harder step of, of going forward. So, um, but I think for us, for our staff, all the things that we've built over those first three years to finally come and see uh, some fruits of our labor. We know we're not done, but it was certainly step one of what we hope is a, a long process, uh, you know, into championship contention for us. So um, different questions, but uh, certainly a little more fun, uh, I think, on some of the questions we're trying to answer. I know, you're focused, question. I know you're focused on your team, but with the Drew Holiday, Dame Lillard stuff, how closely do you pay attention to that? And also maybe separating, your, separating yourself from the job, how much do you enjoy kind of seeing those shakeups that happen around the league every year? Uh, we're yeah, we're certainly always, uh, like I said, exploring ways that we can improve this team. And we until we are a multi-time champion, even then we're going to continue to uh, try and push forward. We're going to look at those opportunities. But um, certainly glad when talent goes east. But the West is going to be an absolute dogfight again. Uh, I think this is my, I don't know, 16th year in the West, and uh, it is it never changes. So uh, for us, uh, the great thing is. Uh, we have a chance to be a top two, three, four seed again, and that's huge. Get home court in the first round. Uh, but there's 11, 12 teams that are dying to get into this this final eight, and so we can't rest on our laurels. Uh, as I told, I think I said this before, my four-year-old's asking why the standings say 0-0. Well, that's what happens. New season, you don't get to carry anything over from last time, and uh, everybody's starting from the same spot and trying to get to the same place. Thanks, Monty. Thanks, Monty. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.